You're here, here for the SharePoint training, um, and it's really not going to be a training, but I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Chris Ulivari. Um, I work for Enrollment Services. My main job is to work with all the departments within Enrollment Services um, and whatever you guys are working with. There's my contact information, and I hope that at the end of this presentation, you have some questions that maybe you were afraid to ask during the presentation, but you contact me somehow, and we, you, I, we can work together in building this. All right? Um, everything that I have on this presentation, you're going to have on your paper there. Some of the stuff is real small. I just wanted you to have something to take some notes on, because there's going to be some real important things that I'm going to go over at the beginning. Pay attention to that, and write that down, and then on the rest of it, you know, try to stay awake, but we'll get you, we'll get you through it. All right, so here's what we're going to go over today. Um, we talk about SharePoint, and in a lot of cases, you might have heard the word intranet thrown around. I'm going to try to define those two for you. Uh, we're going to go over why we're using it as a division. Um, by the way, if there's people in here that are, I think everybody in here is from our division. We have provost office here. But um, if you guys are within the division, this is going to be the page that you're going to be, this is going to be the area that you're going to be working with um, every day that you come in. Um, financial aid people are here that they log in every day. NSO logs in every day. Um, and I think Enrollment Services Center is starting to log in. Uh, we'll go over the purpose of that. I'm going to talk about some of the basics that we're, we're able to accomplish using the SharePoint site. And then I'm going to show you the features that we have that are in production right now. Um, some of the things that, well, a lot of things that SharePoint can do um, is on, but I'm not going to go over those today because there's just so much stuff that SharePoint can provide um, that I only wanted to focus on certain areas so you guys don't get all confused on the stuff that you're going to be able to be um, using with that. During any time... Um, in this presentation, if you have questions, don't hesitate to stop me. If I start getting real nerdy, um, stop me, and I'll try to translate as much as I can, because I, I have a tendency to do that. So what is an intranet? I know that you guys have this on your paper, and you probably can't even read it, and I didn't really intend for you guys to read this either, but I wanted you to at least have an understanding of what the difference is of an intranet and an internet is, all right, or extranet. The intranet is a site that is for internal employees only, all right. So for enrollment services, we have our staff and we have our hourly staff and students, and the, this site is only for you. This isn't something that we're going to post out on the internet and every student or everybody on, in the world can view what we're doing in here. It, that's not the case. Um, I actually came from corporate America before I came here, and in corporate America, um, time is money and money is time. And I'm not saying that that's not the case here, but over there, they say, here's the resources that we're providing you, and with these resources, we expect you to do your job with it. All right, and outside of that, um, you're costing me money. Obviously, we're not going that route, but from that concept, the intranet should be something that, as a staff or student, you have the ability to accomplish your job during the day. You shouldn't have anything outside of that um, that's not tied into the intranet. Hopefully that makes sense. And when we start going through this, you'll get a good understanding. So it's part of a, a way for us as an organization to collaborate with each other um, and to communicate with each other. We have, um, I believe, seven or eight departments within enrollment services, right? And within those departments, it's very important that these departments communicate with each other. And some, an example can be admissions recruiters might have an off-campus event where they're trying to bring in students, they're recruiting students. It might be important for financial aid to be involved with that, or it might be important for enrollment services to have staff there. And if we're not communicating that, amongst each other, um, we can run into some issues. And we want to try to prevent that by creating a centralized location where everybody can get all the information that's necessary for them to get their jobs done. All right. Now, the internet 
the difference. The internet is outside in the, the wild, wild west, the www that everything happens out there. It's also known as an extranet. All right, for right now, our SharePoint site is our intranet. Any questions on that? Did I nerd it out bad? Okay. So then what is the difference between SharePoint and the intranet? Quite simply, SharePoint is the name of the application that's hosting our intranet. SharePoint is a Microsoft product, which means that out of the box, it, it works well with any Microsoft product. All right? Outlook, Word, any of the things that we have on our computer, we're going to be able to tie it into our SharePoint page. Now, some of the bad things about it being a Microsoft product, Microsoft doesn't seem to like to play with other companies. So the expectation for you guys in utilizing the SharePoint is make sure you're using Internet Explorer. Okay? Internet Explorer is a Microsoft product. Now, we do have people that use Macintoshes. Um, and so you can view the SharePoint with Safari, Firefox, or any of the other Chrome. You can view that on there. However, you're not going to be able to use all the bells and whistles the Internet Explorer is going to let you use. All right? So best case, if you can, if you're not on a Mac, please launch it with Internet Explorer. Okay? I'm also going to show you how you're going to be able to tie in the intranet page into your existing Microsoft Office suite to where in a lot of cases you don't even have to log into the SharePoint to get the information that you need to get your job done. Good? All right, so I think that completed the nerd portion of the presentation. And here's where we're going to get into it. In order for you to access our intranet, you're simply going to type in estech.utep.edu. You don't have to put www or http or any of that stuff in your URL. Just go ahead and type in estech.utep.edu. Now, how many of you guys have tried to log into the SharePoint? Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> Either one. All right, we have one. Thank you. Couple. My. All right. So this is going to be important. When you go to this site, it's going to ask you for a login. All right. Now the cool thing about this is it's tied into the exist your existing login credentials, your UTEP login credentials. Do you need a handout? There you go. There's one right here. Boo. All right. I wanted you guys to have this on your paper because um, the SharePoint site is going to need you to either put a miners backslash and then your UTEP username and then your regular UTEP password. All right. Um, staff can do that. Um, and students, you're going to need to go this route. Students will need to put in their entire email address as their username. So um, kulubari at miners.utep.edu and then your regular network password. All right? Staff can do that as well. This is going to happen every time you log into SharePoint. And I'm going to show you how it's not, you don't have to do that anymore. But it's real important for you to authenticate into the SharePoint that you either put miners backslash your username or your entire email address. The reason why I asked if some of you guys had attempted to get into here is that you just, a lot of people are just putting their username in and not adding the extra stuff in there, and then it's showing them that they're denied access, and they're not able to see that, and that's not the case. Everybody who has a UTEP login has access to our, our front page intranet site. <clears throat> 